It's the long awaited edition of Sam on the Farm. I'm really sorry, I've not done a video for absolutely ages. Uh, last time we spoke, the ground was wet, it was cold, it was just a, not a nice winter at all. And now we've got a ground that is too hard. See the shine off my head as well? Got very burnt yesterday. Remember, keep wearing that Factor 30 kit. Uh, so yeah, down on the farm today to have a look at the Herefords. And I thought I'd just explain to you a little bit about the Hereford herd and a bit about me, because you might have subscribed to the YouTube channel thinking, who is this guy? What's he talking about? Well, I'm Sam, this is the farm, and this is Sam on the farm. <laughs> That's very cheesy, I know. Uh, these are my Hereford cows. I've got here. Uh, I'm here uh, quite a few times during the week, but also I work full time at a place called Tatton Park in Cheshire. And it's on the farm. We're a visitor attraction. We get visitors from all over the UK coming to visit our farm. We'll see more about Tatton Park next time. But for de today, let's have a look at the Herefords. You pretend like they don't want to be filmed, but they really do. <laughs> so this is the Walrose herd of Herefords. Every Hereford herd across the country has got its own what's called a prefix. Uh, and that means that every animal born into this herd, at the start of the name, will have my herd prefix, which is Walrose. We started off as the Stockley herd, but this year in 2021, we've changed to the Walrose herd because I wanted to change a little bit. Um, we originally come from a farm called Stockley Farm. We'd left that farm. And I really wanted to get both my granddads involved somehow in the legacy of the herd. Because they'd set it up fundamentally, they'd bought me my first heifer. Really sadly, they both passed away in 2020 and I wanted to really get them involved with the future of the herd. So we went with Walrose because my second name is Walton. My granddad, Reg Walton, uh, was the wall part of the word. And Rose comes from my granddad who had the Rose's herd of British Frisians. Look at this cow here. Of British Frisians. There you go, I see. Walrose, right? So yeah. So for many, many years, the Walrose herd of Pedigree Hereford Castle are going to do really well, I'm pretty sure of it. Look at this one here. Yeah. Got to get on film, haven't you? <laughs> I started breeding Hereford cattle when I was 12 years old. It's a long time ago now. And both my granddads bought me my first Hereford heifer. She was only nine months old and she came from a farm in Hartington in Derbyshire. And she was an absolutely beautiful calf. We called her Blossom. And all these cows here, as we pan around a little bit, all these cows here go back to that original blossom. We've got great granddaughters in the herd and great, great, great granddaughters in the herd. And yeah, they all go back to that one animal I bought when I was 12. See really closely, you can see one of our calves having a little drink. That's Norma. She's my favorite cow. She's getting on a bit now. My oldest cow in the herd, but I absolutely love her. She's the matriarch. She's the boss that all the other cows have to listen to and take command from her. And two weeks ago, she had a little calf. Now, We've had Norma for a long time here and she's never ever had a heifer calf. She always seems to have a bull. The one year she did have a heifer calf, she had twins. And one was a boy and one was a girl and meant that you couldn't actually breed with either of them because they were known as free martins. Uh, so this year, for the first time ever, Norma has had a little girl calf, which will go on to keep into the herd. We've called her Norma Jean, which I felt was quite, you know, in, uh, in line with the name of her mum called a Norma Jean and she's an absolute diamond. Um, I did film the footage of Norma giving birth. Um, it was quite difficult to do because I had to try and like hold the phone and, and get involved at the same time but uh, it was all a big success. The calf was born, a gorgeous little calf, got massive ears just like a mum that you can see there. Norma's ears are absolutely massive and so are little Norma Jeans. These are all pedigree cattle in my herd, which means they're registered with the Hereford Cattle Society. They're a breed that originated from down in Herefordshire. They're a beef breed, and they're what's known as a native breed because they come from the UK. They eat just grass. That's all they eat. They eat lots of other things as well. Lots of things they're not supposed to uh, when they get out and escape. But yeah, they will eat just grass and do really well through just eating grass, which makes them really popular for farmers that have got lots of grass, perhaps beef farmers that have got land that's not suitable for tractors and large machinery, but you can put cows on it, they'll eat grass and they do really well. And that's what's perfect about a Hereford. They're easy carving as well. Uh, if the calf has been presented correctly, it should be born on its own and also they're very very docile which makes it perfect to have around people and perhaps visitors around the farm as well they're a very docile breed just a general all-rounder that ticks so many boxes for me so my choice was always the hereford 
We often sell breeding bulls to various dairy farmers around the country and the Hereford is a really popular breed for dairy farmers to use. They need to have calves every year and they want a calf that's going to be born quite easily without any sort of fuss but there's a good market for them as well. They can sell them and make a little bit of money and Hereford calves do do really well but the best thing about dairy farmers using Herefords in their herd is that they're easy calving. So the heifers or the cows that are giving birth at dairy farm can give birth relatively no sort of fuss. So they're just a really great sort of crossing breed for dairy farmers to use. And that's what we do. Only bulls that we have that we come to sell, we often sell them to, to farmers all around the country. We sold two into Wales last year. We sold one into Derbyshire as well. Uh, a couple went to Cornwall last year. So the, the revenue that comes back into the herd is, is relatively made up of us selling breeding bulls across the country. That's about it for this episode but next time we've had some very exciting news here at the farm and that is we've got a brand new tractor coming to live here if you want to see it and you want to find out more about it join me next time for more Sam on the farm